Peter Scotto, EL6453, Reconfigurable Systems, Final Project, AES 256-bit encryption algorithm using the Spartan 6 FPGA. To summarize, using this development board, we're going to simulate the design requirements. Uh, they don't match the actual implementation precisely. Uh, there'll be a lot more I.O. and much better user control, but this should simulate the function of the algorithm. So looking at the I.O. controls that we plan on using, we have a left button which will cycle through the seven segment display, displaying 16 bits of the encrypted or decrypted output at a time. The right button will act as a master reset which reinitializes all data. The up, down, and middle buttons are used in combination to generate the push button authentication scheme with the correct pattern being up, down, up, down, up, down, and the middle button being an escape or clear button. The switches are used. Switch 7 represents the mode of operation, either encryption or decryption. Switches 6 and 5 represent the key and data load bits, respectively. Switches 4 and 3 are the two MSBs for the key value. Switches 2, 1, and 0 are the three MSBs for the data value. As you can see here, we're currently set up for encryption mode, key and data load are set, the key most significant bit is 1, meaning it's 8 followed by zeros, and the data is all set to zeros. So using this as our encryption test case, okay, we see the expected output on the bottom. So now we're going to run our encryption. Okay. And we're going to cycle through the data. Block 3, block 4, oops, sorry, double hit block 5 and 6, block 7, block 8, and we loop back around. And that's our encryption data. Now for our decryption test case, we're going to set switch down, and we're going to use the same key and data values, only now we should get a different output based on the fact that we're doing a decryption. So let's check our now plain text output. See if it matches what we expect. Okay, so our values now match our expected values. So we're going back to the encryption case now we're going to simulate, we re-ran the encryption, we're going to simulate the push button authentication. We're going to change the key. So now the key should be a two leading bits, so a C followed by zeros. So up, down, up, down, up, down. Now we have B291. And there we have it. Now, how does this differ from what a user would ultimately end up doing? Uh, several cases. Num number one, we're limited in what we can enter for the key and data values uh, as raw inputs. Uh, it is possible to either store the keys in RAM and use an offset to determine which one we want to use. Uh, for this, I thought it would be simpler to just demonstrate with the switches so we had some known deterministic values. Um, the data will likely be coming in on a higher speed data bus as opposed to being simulated by switches. Um, the master reset, which we use the write button, will generally not be available to a user. That would most likely be an administrative system function, uh, if available at all. It was added to this design uh, to do the system reset, but to also reset some of the values uh, in the absence of other buttons. And that's all we have for the uh, final project, AES-256 encryption, EL-6453. This is Peter Scotto.